बिल्कुल विजुअल ई वोक पोटेंशियल विजुअल ई वोक पोटेंशियल क्या करवाते थे कि कि कितने पोटेंशियल पे कितने उस पे लाइट स्टिमुलस पे देयर इज स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ दिस सो यस यू कैन परफॉर्म अ विजुअल ई वोक पोटेंशियल बट आई डोंट नो हाउ इट विल बी रेलेवेंट इन दिस केस आई एम सॉरी मैं आपको पढ़ के बता दूंगा आई हैव रीड दिस स्पेसिफिकली मैं लिख लेता हूं एक बार Parts. So they can be anything, but what we are noting in simple terms is that they are bright spots on MRI. It means that they are a hyperdense or hypoechogenic or hyper. Uh, hyper. There is something there hyper. Now we can notice them around the ventricles, right? In this image, white matter lesions. Absolutely, can be absolutely exactly. I am not going to tell you what they are. उटरी calcifications so on mri you have periventricular calcifications you think we have a diagnosis and if we have a diagnosis how will we treat this patient ye the multiple sclerosis ho wo see ki complication ke through pe i ki problems hai this patient uh, has ms and there is a complication or a manifestation in these terms there is manifestation of multiple sclerosis right this patient has a manifestation of multiple sclerosis what is that manifestation and how will we treat this manifestation those are the two big questions is optic neuritis okay uh you're right hum isko discuss karte hain abhi i'll discuss it in a moment so this patient has optic neuritis and how will we treat this patient कैसे हमें इन्हें ट्रीट करना चाहिए दिस पेशेंट वी डन एन एमआरआई वी डन प्रोटोकॉल इसका ये है कि पैराग्राफ लिखा होगा एक इट्स अ बजवर्ड ओके द बजवर्ड इज यू राइट सी रोज देते हैं इज ऑप्टिक न्यूरोटिस ट्रीटमेंट ट्रायल जो जो ओ एन टी टी है ना जिसको हमने सेफ रखनी पड़ी थी ओ एन टी टी इवन इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर इट इट रिकमेंड्स दैट स्टीरॉइड्स बी यूज्ड oral prednisolone iv methyl prednisolone we get the treatment is steroids steroids are you can take some methadone right so steroids are your treatment optic neuritis agar hai usme to uski apni wo matlab medications hai aap pad lijiyega it will be helpful to you they not i give but the answer is steroids ah uh, bilkul ms ka steroids ka uh, bhi ho sakta hai in patient mein bhi ho sakta hai uh, this no set age Okay, uh, the age group given in uh, case of optic neuritis or multiple sclerosis is from 20s to 40s. 50s के बाद unlikely है. If the same patient they had an age over 50, uh, we would have considered optic neuropathy, जो हम इंशाल्लाह next session में करेंगे. So optic neuropathy would have been the diagnosis at the age. उसमें unlikely होता जाता है. But 20 to 40 is the age group for MS. Yeah, you're right. ओ एन टी टी आप पढ़ लेना इट्स ऑप्टिक न्यूराइटिस ट्रीटमेंट ट्रायल उसने बस इतनी बात की है कि आई वी स्टीरोड्स देनी है और और इन स्टीरोड्स देनी है और उसकी थोड़ी बहुत इंडिकेशन देखी हुई नॉट नीड टू रिमेंबर द इंडिकेशन के क्या इंडिकेशन है बस आपने ये बता देना डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ दी ओ एन टी टी ये ट्रायल ऑप्टिक और इन स्टीरोड्स इंक्लूडिंग प्रेडनोसोलॉन वगैरह वगैरह आई वी स्टीरोड्स इंक्लूडिंग मिथाइल प्रेडनोसोलॉन शुड बी गिवन टू 
that is the treatment. So let's go over this case first. There are a few things which I want to discuss and then we'll be over. So if you notice this patient, they have a unilateral disease. That is the first important thing. Okay. She has a subacute presentation two weeks prior to a clinic. Uh, okay. It's not gradual over the years. It's subacute. It's not in hours. It's pain with eye movements and does that through outer ache. Pain with eye movements. That is important. She has noted decreased perception of color and contrast. This is a very peculiar symptom. And it's also a sign. They were color vision checked. And the first uh, color to be affected in vision in such cases is red. Okay, red sensitivity is very much affected. Okay, red sensitivity aapko come also noted decreased perception contrast, double vision. Okay, baki specific hai. The important thing is that how do you know that the optic nerve is involved and it's not just the retina, there's a relative afferent pupillary defect. This is one very important RAPD ka matlab hai ki optic nerve is involved. Okay. The baki sign symptoms aapko mil rahe the papilla edema mein bhi. Papilla edema mein bhi optic nerve involved ho rahi thi. But the compression on the outside, it was not enough to impair the reflexes. Something is happening in this disease, which is causing the afferent reflexes to, uh, to be delayed, to sort to be abnormal. That is why this patient has a relative afferent pupillary defect. They have a Marcus Cun pupil. One eye, it's unilateral. Extraocular movements are painful. Uh, Tonometry is normal, perimetry is normal. Baki is uh, normal. This patient has optic neuritis secondary to multiple sclerosis. Optic neuritis subse zada hota hai multiple sclerosis mein. And optic neuritis is one of the earliest manifestations of multiple sclerosis. MS ki baki manifestations bhi hoti hai, tingling hoti hai, uske andar, paresthesias hoti hai, anesthesias hoti hai, abnormal movements hoti hai, all that. But optic neuritis, they say that it occurs before and it's one of the first. And also this patient has a family predisposition of MS. Okay, her sister is also suffering from fertility process. So whenever you have a disease, optic neuritis, optic neuritis is most commonly it's caused by multiple sclerosis. This is an MCQ. And this is also a key important feature on which you will differentiate it from other diseases. The second thing, it's unilateral. Third thing, there is an RAPD. Now, another thing. Optic nerve, ki jab humne baat ki thi, so we discussed some parts, right? One is the optic head. And one is the a part which is at the lamina cribrosa, pyrrhic features, current property part. So, this examination, the fundus is unremarkable. We cannot see anything abnormal with this patient. So, this means that the optic disc head is not involved. It's not involved. If this were to be involved in this patient, if we found some slight this blurring, sub-slight hyperemia, which is a jati, but this would have been termed papillitis, the subheading of optic neuritis. Papillitis means an inflammation of the papilla. Papilla, this is the optic disc. This patient has retro pulver neuritis, meaning that the neuritis or optic neuritis subtype, the optic neuritis, which is infecting the nerve, it is present uh, behind the uh, disc. Optic disc spinaino se piche hai. That is why in optic neuritis, there is painful eye and the ophthalmologist on examination, they see nothing. They see a normal fundus examination. Okay. If we get changes here, it could have been papillitis. Okay, let me show you the changes of papillitis. This is a retrobulbar neuritis because the disc is normal. A papillitis has hyperemia and edema. Infection immunization in children are okay, but demyelination is uh, MS may have to accomplish that. And then there's another type. Okay. Uh, plus, the, uh, this, this, in addition to this disc, if some of the retina is involved, and if macula be involved, or a thoracic hemorrhage, then that is called a neuroretinitis, which is basically a papillitis with the presence of a macular scar. So these are the three classifications of optic neuritis and how they are different on examinations. Okay. In key etiologies, they are different. 
retrobulbar neuritis is commonest with multiple sclerosis. Papillitis uh, is also uh, uh, commonly caused by demyelination. So, baki viral infections in context, I have to ask you to ask me. What causes are there? But whenever you ask these diseases it, in uh, fourth year in Viva's examinations, they will ask, be asked to you in context of demyelination or multiple sclerosis. Again, the treatments they are the same, the causes they are the same. Just you have to differentiate papal edema from optic neuritis. And, uh, these are some of the important differences which will help you uh, in order to differentiate. Inko aap dekhi jega. Anyone have any question? I've already taken a lot of your time, kafi over of chance, even though we had two. The purpose of today's exercise was that uh, optic neuritis is different from most of the other diseases we studied. We've almost covered all of the eye. So, shoes It was an exercise to help you rule out different diseases and how uh, details in the symptoms and the signs they can point you to one diagnosis and differentiate uh, and rule out other diagnoses. So uh, I'm sorry if you have any recommendations or dragged out. Laga. If you have any recommendations or suggestions so how we could do the same thing and how we could reach the same outcome in a more productive and less time consuming way, I'm all ears. Please let me know. Okay. So if anyone has any questions? I I'll MF take patient me extra ocular movements to me painful. Okay, so this key reason is uh, retrobulbar neuritis is painful. Due to the inflammation of the optic nerve, eye movement is so optic nerve is inflamed. There is an inflammatory process. So you know that inflammation is four of them. Rubber, color, dollar, dollar, dollar. One of them is pain. So movements they stimulate uh, the release of, uh, matlab, in, they stimulate the infected, sorry, inflamed part of the nerve. And that is why this patient has painful eye movements. Inflammation is happening, you know if you try to mess with it, try to move with it, so there's always pain. It's the same principle over here. Movement causes uh, mechanical release of all those uh, the pain, uh, chemoreceptors to pain, the substance P and all that. They stimulate the uh, chemo, uh, pain receptors, sorry. Pain receptors will stimulate kehte and pain is received by the patient. Thank you. Late onset, late onset, late onset. Symptoms, late onset. You're right, late onset. Optic nerve came out. cases, and I've picked them. This one is from a journal, journal of general practitioners. The case, I put this in of Hayata. Very well explained over there. I liked it, so I thought I'd treat this. Is from University of Medical School of Iowa. They have cases online. So I usually picked up cases from there. This case was given on there. So many of you have studied 20 to 40 in the round set. This patient fits demographic, even though the presentation is late. Episode one year ago is insignificant. No, it's MS in the other eye. Okay, and uh, glad that you brought it up. MS का होता है ये है कि optic neuritis में इसकी थोड़ी सी ना progression at cases की Jo vision loss hai, it starts around in hours to days and it reaches a peak in one week or two weeks. Matlab ye hai ke vision loss uh, badta jata hai, badta jata hai, ek hafte tak maximum ho jata hai ya do hafte tak maximum ho jata hai. Uske baat ye hota hai ke vision, it starts to return to normal. Pahle visual acuity badti hai, phir ye jo evoke potential wala kisa sensitivity bad jati hai, aista aista mahino ke andar. Or phir ba... तकरीबन 6 से 12 महीने के बाद जो रेड सेंसिटिविटी है जो लूज होती है स्टार्ट में वो नॉर्मल वापस आती है तो जो ऑप्टिक न्यूरोटिस के अटैक्स होते हैं दे रिपीटेड अटैक्स का खतरा होता है और इसकी एक नेचुरल प्रोग्रेशन है कि द अटैक्स द सिम्टम्स द लॉस द विजुअल लॉस इन कंट्रास्ट सेंसिटिविटी इन कलर सेंसिटिविटी दे आर लॉस्ट फ्रॉम द ऑनसेट टू इन टू वन वीक एंड देन दे ग्रेजुअली रिटर्न द फर्स्ट रिटर्न इज विजुअल एक्विटी and the last to return is red color sensitivity, which can take up to six months, uh, sorry, up to 12 months to recover in the patient. So left eye one year ago, this is a clue that she had an attack of optic neuritis in her left eye, which resolved spontaneously because they do resolve spontaneously. But the thing is that if we let these attacks respond spontaneously, 
repeated attacks will lead to permanent visual loss and they can lead to optic uh, sorry optic neuropathies optic atrophies and optic neuropathies which we will discuss in the next session okay that is why this episode is significant it's not insignificant it's actually had ms in that way so does anyone else have any questions okay visit this board take a look take a look at this chart ठीक है इट हाउ इट विल हेल्प यू देयर आर अ फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच आर व्हिच आर यूज्ड टू डिफरेंशिएट पिपिलरी रिएक्शन एंड इन दिस लैटरलिटी अब क्लासिकल केसेस मिलेंगे और उनमें यही प्रेजेंटेशंस होंगी लुक एट दिस टेक अ लुक एंड नो द इटियोलॉजीज व्हाट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ द टू व्हाट आर द सिम्टम्स व्हाट आर द साइंस एंड हाउ वी विल मैनेज द दैट इन साइड ठीक है गाइस थैंक यू फॉर स्पेयरिंग योर टाइम 17 मिनट ऊपर हो गए हैं बाकी इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट विद ऑप्टिक न्यूरोपैथीज एंड ऑप्टिक एक्टिविटीज आफ्टर दैट वी विल डू विजुअल पाथवेज लीजन्स ऑफ विजुअल पाथवेज एवरीवन अल्लाह हाफिज़